hey everybody thank you so much for joining me on today's vlog today we are doing a moving out vlog and uh yeah i'm moving to a new apartment i am so excited god has been so faithful for a long time i've been desiring like to move to a new place and finally i am moving it's like it's a prayer i've had for like five months so today finally we are moving and we are in the last stages of getting things outside the house so anyway let me show you the progress so this is what we have done so far so good i don't know if you can see these are the delicate stuff the bathroom the favorite part of, uh, for me in this house was the bathroom i mean it was amazing and then the bedroom is over here empty everything is empty this should be trash um, this is trash, I need to throw this out. So I'm done in the bedroom. Here is all the wholesale trash. The kitchen, clear. Yeah. So I'm not using movers because the quotation I was given was crazy. And, and it was like twice the rent I'm going to pay, like me, 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 me pay. Oh, so I called uh, just these guys of us for transport. So they're working on it. They are my staff, everything is out there. They're just about to start packing. Yeah, because I've cleaned up the house real quick, let me show you uh, an empty house tour. Very large window, I loved this uh, about the house. And uh, it's a good size. It was a good size. So that's the living room. And then you come to the bathroom. That is his favorite part for me, was always the bathroom. Nice mirror over there, amazing sink. I loved this sink, oh my God, I'm going to miss it. Then you have a small corridor over here where you can put maybe a shurak and stuff. Then you have the bedroom, natural lighting has been served. The bedroom was small if you ask me, manageable though if you don't have a lot of stuff. And yeah, that is it. Then from there we have the kitchen. And there it is. Not so big as well, but it's manageable if you don't have a lot of appliances and yeah that is my ex house <laughs> ex house it feels so good saying that anyway so now we are done thank you dear house for serving me well i hope your new owner loves you as much as i did goodbye may we never meet again Before we finish putting in stuff, here is the living room. I love this. You're going to see a lot of this on my videos. And uh, this is how, like, this living room is super, super big. Then I love the light. It changes color. Um, there it is. We have a green. Perfect. For now. Then we have the kitchen, also very spacious. Look at all that. And the cabinets just bought my heart. Like I was sold. So those are the cabinets. A lot of storage over there. We have a mirror. I've been told this will be repaired. They have not changed this. They're going to work on it. And favorite part the bedroom just look at how special it is and you haven't seen a thing yet until you see all those wardrobes oh my god i saw this and i knew this is my house i just saw the wardrobes and i was like nimefika this is it this is the house yeah so that's it and my view my 
view over there, very calm, very serene. And the bathroom, not as big as the other one, but well, who stays in the bathroom for more than 30 minutes a day? So, progress report. This is what is going on so far. <sighs> and considering the house is on fifth floor, they are really doing a wonderful job. I'm going to share their number in case you need their services. Honestly, I'd recommend them. And believe me, when I tell you, I'd, I'd recommend them because I'm alone and I'm not even afraid. I'm not anxious or anything. That's how you know my heart is at peace with them. So, if you're moving, you can, you can reach out to them. A very, very nice museum. So, yeah. Other amazing thing is that I'm, I'm not doing anything. Literally, I'm just waiting on stuff while I'm in the house. So, like, uh, they don't, they're not even allowing me to carry a spoon, so, yeah, they're doing the job. They're very reliable. I <sighs> can't wait for this to be done, though, so that I can get into organization. So, guys, here is their contact. You can call them on this number, and maybe you can say hi, just wave. <laughs> Dear Hawa, trustworthy, reliable, and very convenient. So reach out to them anytime you want and uh, yeah you'll thank me later number plate <laughs> it's six days later and suddenly i remembered i was doing a movie not vlog <laughs> so here i am to conclude the vlog yeah i set i settled in well but i feel like i've been in a honeymoon kind of phase with my house trying to learn it trying to experience it you know the the, the like environment and stuff and yeah it was a pretty nice honeymoon <laughs> finally i'm settled in and if there's something i have noticed about looking for a house in Nairobi, my god first of all it is work especially if you're doing it by yourself and secondly you need to know what you're really looking for because there's so many houses but if you don't know what you're looking for you're going to just settle for anything and i was so particular about what i wanted in my new house oh my god i was so particular until i was i was about to give up because i was not finding exactly what i want and one thing about me i don't settle i don't settle if it's not what i want it's not what i want and if it's what i want i see it and i know this is it and that is exactly what happened when i got this house like i entered this house and at first i was like okay it is spacious like this house is really really spacious i was like okay mm, this is okay it's it's okay then i got into the bedroom and bro i saw the wall to all my drops and it was like the priority on my list and i was like all right this is the house this is the house because one it had space what i wanted wall to wall wardrobe like oh my god i've packed out everything i have and there's massive space left so you can imagine how big it is so there was that the kitchen cabinets they are low meaning i can reach easily and there's so many above and below i'm going to show you shortly and then it was this place is quiet <laughs> the first time i was left i was i slept here alone because i had company for like the first three nights the first night i spent here by myself i was so scared i was like it's so quiet maybe i'm the only one in the world you know <laughs> it was so it was so quiet and even right now during the day no music i hate loud music oh my god ah oh, i hate loud music there's no uh, outside activities, so it's very quiet and just ideal. So you really need to know what you're looking for and don't settle until you find it. And I think that's that's one thing about me. I don't easily settle for something. Even if I'm about to give up, I really won't give up. I'll want to, but I won't give up until I find exactly what i'm looking for so yeah welcome to my new house technically this is the space you're going to be seeing often on my uh podcast conversations because that's where i do them from 
and uh, yeah any questions you might have about moving out with Nairobi please let me know and let me tell you when I say I looked for this house my Google Maps uh, I had the the like analytics for which week last week but one the week I was looking for a house and bro this a day I walked for six hours six hours looking for <laughs> On 26th January, I walked for six hours. Trust me, my legs, oh God, they were crying out. I came to this place twice, like two days. And uh, something interesting, on the first day, I didn't get a house, but I was so determined that this is the environment I want. And I don't care if God is going to build a new apartment for me, but I must stay in this apartment, I, I mean in this environment. So I came the following day and very interesting stuff happened. Let me tell you that as I'm doing the dishes. So I came here the second day and um, I was just roaming around because there's a place I've been, I've been told by, uh, you see how you call the phone numbers that are at the gate and stuff. So one of the numbers I had called, the previous day, said to me that they have a house, I don't know around where, I can't even remember the name of that place. So they told me to go check and because it was already 6 p.m. I said I'll come the following day and I came. So the first stopover was that location. It was that location. So, okay, me and my green themed kitchen as usual, we are still here, we are still going strong with green. Anyway, so when I when I came the following day, I went straight to that house, but I didn't know exactly where it was. So by chance, I happened to find this rider and I asked him, do you know such and such an apartment? And he directed me, but it's like I didn't get the, I didn't get the directions correctly. I think it was a little bit complicated. So uh, in my getting lost, I meet him again. <laughs> And he directs me again and says, Sister, where are you going? Okay, of course, he's like talking slightly. He's like, where are you going? I told you, you need to go right, not left. Did you watch what? So he's directing me and finally I got the house. First of all, I was shook in a bad way. I was like, is this the house I have woken up so early to come and see? Oh my God. It was in an, in an incomplete building, which I don't do. I can't do incomplete buildings. And then the kitchen didn't have cabinets. The bedroom didn't have wardrobes. And remember, on my list, the priority was wall to wall wardrobes. So I was like, mm -mm, no, I, I, I'm not settling. I am not settling. It's within budget, but I'm not settling. Come on, I can, I can do better. You know what I'm talking? So I was like, I was so disappointed because I was so hopeful. It had been like a, a like a big struggle for me. <sighs> so I continued with my house hunting, and guess who I meet again? This rider. And this time he's like, "Hiya, konich me patana tena." So so I'm like, "Hiya, yeah, I'm I'm just looking for a house. Maybe that's why you're seeing me all over the place." And he's like, "You're looking for a house." all right let me help you so he helped me move around the whole estate and i think we, we checked out on all good apartments around some were too dark you know i don't do dark apartments you know that right i'm big on natural light so so when he said uh when when we, when we are we were about where well, mr marine <laughs> i don't know how to multitask we were about to give up, but before that, I came to this apartment. You called the number that was. Where am I washing from up here? Just a minute. I like organizing my dirty dishes. Perfect. So, where was I? So, we came to this apartment. We called the number that was at the gate. And uh, whoever picked up, told us is going to give us the number of like the caretaker. Unfortunately, the caretaker was not picking up, so I didn't have the patience. So I left and I was like, I oh, will come back later, no problem. And uh, like an hour later, this guy, the one I had talked to, called me and said, now the caretaker is available, just go back to the house, 
somebody will open the gate for you and show you the house. So I was like, okay, cool. There's no harm in seeing it because on the outside, I was a bit skeptical. It didn't look as new as I wanted it to look, although it's not old. I was just being petty. And I was like, okay, let's just go and see. So we came back here, me and my rider, the one I've just met on the road, and he's helping me out. So we came over here, and uh, the first thing I asked, which floor is it on? I was told fifth. I was like, hmm, that's a very good sign. Okay, okay, let's go see, let's go see. So we climbed all the way to the fifth floor, and that's when I got into the house. First of all, I was so shocked by how big it was. Like, you guys, I don't know, unfortunately, I never, oh, wait, wait, I did do a, I did a house tour for you when I was moving now, right? Yeah, I think it's, I think I've done it. So, I, I saw, oh, Mr. Marid! So I saw how big this house was, and that, that for me got me. I was like, wait a minute, how much again did you say this house goes for? I was told and I was like, are you serious? So what bought my heart was the bedroom. I was really careful on the kind of bedroom I wanted. I really needed space for, I, I, I mean the wardrobes, like that was big for me, it was so big. And then came to the kitchen, cabinets are low, cabinets are reachable. And I was like, okay, I think I have just found my, my dream apartment at the moment. I saw the balcony as well. I have like, oh my God, I'm going to show you guys the, the balcony. There's so much space and that's how I knew this is the one. Literally, I had a list. I'm going to like put a screenshot because I wrote it on my notes and everything was checking out. Literally, everything was checking out. Like 99% checked out. And that is when I knew I had finally found my house and the search is over <laughs> i think if there's anything i can tell somebody who's looking for a house is know exactly what you want because you're eventually going to get it and one thing that overwhelmed me was the fact that god literally gave me everything that was on that list i was so overwhelmed on the first day i was telling everybody god is too faithful I was like, how can he give me everything? Everything, oh my God. And I, I've just been so grateful, you guys. So, yeah, here we are. Ah, you can see the view of the highway from here. It's very quiet. There's nobody inside. I'm a mechukuli wana si drui. So, yeah, this is... The new location where we are at and uh, all I'm praying is that this environment is going to to produce exactly what I need it to because you know environments go a long way yeah I'm reading currently I'm reading a book okay I'm reading many books at the moment but there's this book called this statement is from which book um, Okay, I'm reading Financial IQ Rich Dad Poor Dad. I'm also reading uh, Think Think Big. I'm also reading Woman Evolve. This statement says you are a product of your environment. That is from which book? Think Think Big. That is from Thinking Big. The Magic of Thinking Big. It says you are you are a product of your environment, and I think it's one of the things that really. Uh, pushed me to want to go to a new environment because I didn't exactly like where I was at. I needed to be challenged and in that environment I was settling and feeling like uh, I'm the best I can ever be. So I, I needed something that's going to push me and this environment does just that. So I'm just hoping that it's going to it's going to breed uh, the results I'm, I'm looking forward to. And yeah, I don't know, I don't know what else to say, so that it has been a nice journey. So let me just finish doing the dishes and then I'll show you guys the balcony.
So this is my view from the balcony all the way over here I don't know if you can see it. okay you can't really see the highway on camera but this is the view and at night it's breathtaking so the balcony still has some work to be done and that's my garbage bag the tissues that needs to be clean my plants my baby plants are over here there's another one there then there's this I need to clean up over here so here's the kitchen you can see the kitchen from here here's the kitchen literally you can the balcony accesses the kitchen then I have garbage this needs to be thrown out, make a rise over there and all this. Let me stand at, at a corner so that you can see clear. Hey, clear. Where, 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 where. So this here is the balcony. This will be the end of the vlog and I hope it was interesting and uh, yeah, I'm wishing you all the best in your endeavors if you're trying to move out as well because chances, chances are high you're watching because you're interested in moving out. So if you're interested in moving out, I wish you all the best. That will be all from me. So until next time, be sure to subscribe, be sure to like. And uh, I'm going to see you next time. So bye guys. May the Lord bless you with beauty for all your ashes. <laughs>